Hello Techies! In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with write to command session. By using write to command session, we have executed the command with an open command session, right? And we have seen over here the different options over here. That is, if you want to send the enter after command, in that case, you are going to use this option that is enable or disable option, you will use it for the send enter after command. Now I'm going to make it enable over here so that once I will click on enter the enter after the command directory so that I will get the output. All right, let me click on save. Now what out the output we got it after executing the particular command by using write to command session, I want to read the output how can i go ahead and read that by using read from command session action what it will do it will read the output which we got it from the commands particular command session all right let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after write to command session now if you see the parameters over here i am having command session this is the session which we are going to use or at the time of open command session this is the simple variable now if you see another parameter, I'm having separate output from error. You can see I'm having two options, enable and disable. If you are going to disable this one, that you will get it in the error in the command output only. But if you want to specify the errors, what you got it, as well as the output, if you want in a separate way, in that case, you are going to enable this option. There you can find two variables. One is command output, another one is the command error. All right, let me click on save. Now I'm having the command that is directory that I'm going to use by using write to command session and the output which I'm going to get it, I'm going to read it by using read from command session. All right, we will see the what is the output by running the flow by clicking on run. Flow execution started and now you can see the flow has been executed successfully. Now we'll see the output by using command output variable. Let's click on that. And there you can see over here, I'm having all the details like directory of Power Automate Desktop. You can see all the directories which are available inside the e Power Automate Desktop. All right. Now let me close this. Now I will show you another output over here. We have given over here send enter after command. What will happen if you are not going to click on enter? It won't give the output, all right? Let me click on save. Now we'll see what is the output that we are going to get it from the write to command session. Let's run the flow to see the output once again. After disabling, send enter after command. Now if you see the flow has been executed successfully, now, if you go for the command output, I don't have any output because I have not given any kind of enter command after the directory so that it's not executed so that I'm not going to give any kind of output over here. All right, let me click on close. Now, once again, I'm going to enable this option over here that is send enter after command. Now, I want, I got some data or I got some output from the write to command session and after that I have read the data or I have read the output by using read from command session. Now I want to store somewhere or I want to write this data in somewhere in the particular file. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to use write to write text to file. So whatever the output that I got it from the write to command session, I'm going to write that output into the particular file by using write text to file. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Over here, I'm going to select the path, learned about this write to text file action already in our previous session. All right, now I'm going to select the path over here and I'm going to select same co E colon, power automate desktop, and after that over here, I'm going to create a new text file over here. I will say CMD output. And then I'm going to select the same file over here to write the data. And then text to write, what is the output that I have to write it over here inside this text file? That is what is the output that we got it from the 
command try to command right i'm going to select cmd output which i have read it right now i'm going to select the same cmd output and if you see the options open new line i'm going to enable it if already file like this then i'm going to overwrite it all right let me click on save now once again we'll see the output by running the flow flow execution started and the output has been return successfully to the file that is write to text file action all right now let me go to the path and there you can find cmd output text file let me open that now if you see over here i got the output and i am having all the directives right now if you go for the cli also that is command line interface both are the same you can see daily reports i am having documents if you observe once again this is very old let me execute once again the same command which is in directory and now if you compare both the outputs i am having the same kind of output you can see cmd output dot text daily reports documents and what not all the output which are coming from the particular command session has been read successfully and it has been written successfully into the write to text file action i hope you understand how to work with write to command section as well as the read from command section actions as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day